There's nothing more annoying than an overexcited dog dragging us into the dog park, but we don't always have time to stop that by training. So today, Trish, we're going to have a look at some of the tools that can help us modify that behaviour. Absolutely. I think the first thing we need to think about is something that's going to alleviate the pulling. So the first thing um, to consider is a no-pull harness. Yep. Um, this uh, helps alleviate the dog's pulling capacity by a good 30%. It's quite comfortable for the dog to wear and most dogs accept it without too much issue. So no pull harness is one. The other one is a front connecting harness where the leash actually attaches to the front of the dog's chest. Yes. If you can imagine a dog that lunges and pulls mm. and you are able to suddenly uh, you turn the dog away and that just basically disengages the opposition reflex. And again these need to be fitted quite comfortably and quite snug. Mm -hmm. uh, so if you're not sure Get, uh, get someone to help you um, fit that one properly. Okay, and what about these ones that we've got here? These are car harnesses or walking harnesses. Look, they're, they're, they're pretty good for a dog that doesn't have a pulling issue right. or good for the dogs that need to, you know, ride in the car. But we wouldn't recommend them for strong pulling dogs. They're just not going to cut it. Okay. And this one, the halty. Head halters. Yep, yeah, there's plenty of all this. There's about, I don't know, 100 <laughs> varieties out there of different head halters. They control the dog by the head. Look, they're pretty good. Again, a dog needs to be, it needs to be fitted correctly mm. and a dog needs to be conditioned to wear it. They don't mm. just accept wearing it readily. Some dogs do protest, mm. um, but we do recommend if you're not sure, then seek the services of someone that can help and you. And also make sure it gets fitted properly because it can ride into their eyes. Absolutely. Uh, martingales. Yeah, martingales. <laughs> yeah, these are pretty good. They're good for mild pulling dogs. They have the action where they tighten to a degree. They are limited slip, so they don't continue to tighten after they've tightened to a point. So good for long necked dogs, so greyhounds, etc. Um, but these are pretty uh, pretty pretty good tools as well. So if you just got a dog that doesn't pull too badly, the martingales are the way to go. Okay, now this leads me to the controversial one. Correction chains. Yep. When should we not use them absolutely? Yeah, look, they are a controversial uh, tool, but we certainly don't recommend them on puppies or any puppy under sort of seven or eight months of age. Uh, those brachycephalic dogs, so we're talking about pugs and mm. boxes with the pushed in noses. Um, elderly dogs, you know, sick dogs, and any dog with a obviously a sensitive neck, yes. uh, they're not the right tool for that. But however, you know, there is a time and a place for them. If you do wish to use one, we suggest you seek the services of a trainer to be able to help you use it properly. Absolutely, because some things can can go wrong with these ones. Absolutely. But ultimately, we want to be heading towards the flat collar with the nice sturdy buckles and uh, training our dog not to pull in the first place. So if you would like some training tips, visit the NDTF website or Pooches at Play. Ah.